Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, I used to do a long time ago, I used to do channeled messages, and you know, at the beginning of the reading, and I haven't done it for a while, and a lot of people have been asking for it. Um, so let's go ahead and get into your channeled messages. Now, these messages may or may not resonate with the reading, um, they may be for only one person, you know you take it as it resonates okay um so virgo i feel like somebody here is coming in wanting to apologize for something or wanting to talk about something um this conversation is going to take place because someone here is saying, listen, I know I need to do better. I know I need to give more. Um, this could even be on a financial standpoint or just it, emotionally or whatever. Um, the problem here is, the problem here is Virgo, is that this person is just talking just to talk. This person hasn't really taken the time out to do any soul searching. They haven't really taken the time out to enlighten themselves as to really the true meaning behind, you know, giving what is needed. Somebody here is just talking just to talk. Okay. Um, I feel that uh, somebody here is... <sighs> I don't feel like there's going to be any second chances here because I feel like the person that is hurt by all of this, that could be you, Virgo, could be the other person, I don't know, um, is, is stressed out. Someone here is tired. They're just living in an energy of chaos and confusion and the trouble sleeping, anxiety, all their head is all in a mess. Someone here is in very serious emotional distress. Um, and I feel that it's very strongly because somebody isn't bringing something to the table even though they're they say they're going to but they're not really you know learning they're not really putting the time and energy into understanding why this needs to happen why you know whatever the case may be right um and it's really stressing somebody out and it is sad because i do feel a very strong spiritual soul tie between these two people um but i i feel that you know it's just um Someone here is undergoing a, a tremendous amount of suffering um, because somebody here should be giving to a connection and they say they're going to give to the connection, but it never actually happens. So it, it's just, you know, they're undergoing a lot of emotional strain here. Someone's just, you know, and maybe someone's just in an energy of, I don't want to do this again. This is now becoming a really bad decision in my life and I just don't want to give this any more chances, okay? Um... You know, someone here is just starting to f believe that, you know, believing this person is not a good idea, okay? Um, what messages do we have here for Virgo, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Tell me about messages for Virgo in love, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, Spirit. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Virgo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We've got the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, and we have the Ten of Cups. We have the Moon card, Cancer, Piscean energy, and we have the Devil, Capricorn energy. Under the deck, we have the High Priestess, we have the Six of Cups, and we have the Ten of Swords. Interesting. Okay, so Virgo, here's the deal. Okay, I feel that with the Knight of Wands in the reverse and the Ten of Cups, someone here is presenting themselves to be in a relationship that is happy and fulfilling. But with the Knight of Wands in the reverse, they don't have any real drive for this connection. They don't have any real passion for it. Like, I feel like somebody wants to post pictures or go around telling people that they're really happy, but they don't have any real love or passion for that person. With the Devil and the Moon, card here i feel like we're dealing with somebody that is still chained to something someone here has repressed emotions someone here i mean with the high priestess and the moon these are secrets okay um in a love reading for um, on a man's perspective the high priestess can be a representation of um uh, wanting a woman that they can't have, okay? In a love reading for a woman, um, the high priestess could be a representation of being wanted by many people, okay? But it's interesting because with the 
Six of Cups and the Ten of Swords, I feel that there is possibly an ex here that somebody is still holding a flame for, um, but they can't have this person. They can't have this person, okay? Um, I feel like somebody here is trying to say, oh, look at me. Look at me. I'm in this beautiful new relationship. Look at how good I'm doing. Look at how hard I'm working on this awesome new relationship. I found this amazing person. I, I did all of this. You know what I'm saying? But I feel that if this past person should come in and just say, hi, <laughs> it would just, the whole relationship would fall apart. The whole relationship would fall apart. And I feel like someone is actually manifesting this. Somebody is hoping and wishing for someone to come in to communicate so they can leave this connection and go off with this third party. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, I, I feel like someone like daydreams about it. like someone coming back in the picture and a fight breaking out and someone just, you know, leaving this Ten of Cups, this, you know, false Ten of Cups situation and moving towards something else. Okay, so let's just clarify here and see what's going on. Clarity, guidance, I love messages for... Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Virgos. Tell me about the Knight of Wands in the reverse. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. And we've got the Hanged Man, Piscean Energy. I feel like somebody has started a new connection here. And with the Wheel of Fortune, it's supposed to be amazing. It's supposed to be all of these things. The problem is, is that when you're not happy in a relationship, like when you really don't have that drive and your heart's really not in it, the Wheel of Fortune will cause a lot of upheaval. So in this new relationship, there's there's going to be one argument after the other. And that's because with the Hanged Man and the Ten of Cups, someone here is intentionally trying to stall it from like, it's like they want to present themselves as a Ten of Cups, but they don't really want to present themselves as a Ten of Cups. You understand what I'm saying? Because they're not happy. Someone here is, their heart or mind is still somewhere else. Tell me about the Devil card. We've got the Judgment card in the reverse, Sagittarian energy. Tell me about the Moon and the Tower in the reverse. So what's happening here is, is that we have a situation where someone here may be angry or jealous or upset because there can be no reconciliation. There is no second chance here. There is no second chance here. Okay. Virgo, someone here may be stalling the Ten of Cups to go back to the X just to find out that there's no more second chances. That is what might be happening here, okay? So let's see here. Tell me about... Yeah, I feel like... I feel like maybe the energy that I channeled at the beginning of the reading is between someone here and the ex. So the ex might be coming back saying, listen, I've learned my lesson. I understand what I need to give to the connection. And the ex is saying, I'm not taking you back because you stressed me out and you haven't learned anything. You know what I'm saying? I, I know you and you have not taken the time out to learn anything. Okay. Clarity, guidance, love messages for... Yeah, see... So we have temperance in the reverse. I'm not forgiving you. Sagittarian energy. Four of cups. I don't want what you're offering. Three of pentacles and the eight of swords. Yeah. Someone here is like, I have, uh, yeah. Someone here knows what they want. Virgo. Okay. Someone here knows what they want. They might be in a relationship currently. Okay. Uh, and they may be protecting that connection, but they know what they want and they want someone solid. They want someone committed. They want somebody loyal. Okay. They want somebody loyal. Um, and I feel like with the three of pentacles and the eight of swords, I feel like what's happening here is, is this, I feel like this is the past person, this person saying, yes, I understand you want to work things out with me, but I know with the Eight of Swords energy, I know you're up to no good because I know you and I know who you are as a person and you 
are not ever, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're not going to ever be who you say you are. Tell me about temperance in the reverse. Temperance in the reverse. The three of cups. Yes, yeah, someone here wanted to reconcile and the other person said, nope. Tell me about the four of cups and the emperor. Someone said, listen, I will be your emperor. Aries, Taurus, energy could be uh, emperor, empress, gender doesn't matter. But someone came in and made an offer. And this person said, listen, I'm, I'm grown now, I'm mature, I'm responsible, I'm all these amazing things, I know how to be in control, I know how to take charge, and this past person said, no you don't. <laughs> this person's past person said, I know you and I know that you are no emperor. I don't, I don't want it. I don't want your emperor. I don't, I don't want your, your uh, offer of whatever you're offering. Tell me about the three of pentacles, please. The three of pentacles, yeah. There's an offer coming in. Hey, you know, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. I really want to work this out. Let's go to counseling. Let's go do this. Let's go do that. Uh, Eight of Swords here. And the Two of Wands. Someone here knows. See, and there's that stressful energy here. There's that stressful energy and the uh, the Fool card. Yeah. Someone here knows that this would be a huge risk. It would be a huge risk. Someone here knows that it may be great for a little while, but down the line in the future, it's it's gonna go bad. Someone here know like they just know this person so well that they're like, you, know, you there's people like you don't change. People like you don't change. That's what I'm hearing. People like you don't change, never will change. Tell me about the challenge here, please, Spirit. Two of Cups in the reverse. The Strength card, Leo Energy, and the Six of Pentacles, okay? So, the challenge here is, is that somebody, even though they feel the strong soul tie connection there, even though, <clears throat> and I told you, I felt at one point, very strong soul tie connection here between these two. Um, even though they still feel it, they're going to hold back from it. This person does not want a relationship because with the Six of Pentacles here, um, I feel like the connection I, was very one-sided. Um, this person, whoever we're talking about here, when they're in a relationship, it's like the, the, the relationship falls only on one person. It's only one side. This person does not give to connections, okay? So everything would fall on the partner. Do you understand? Whether it's financially or in every other way, this person is not an emperor, okay? This is someone that needs to be taken care of. This is somebody that needs to be given things, um, needs to be taken. You know what I'm saying? They don't bring anything to the table. All right, let's see here. Tell me about the outcome, please. Tell me about the outcome here, please, for Virgo. Yeah. We've got the Seven of Cups. We've got the Sun card, Leo Energy. And we've got the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra Energy, and the Two of Swords. I don't how, care how confident you are. I don't care how much you tell me that, you know, choosing you would be the right thing. And I promise it'll be great. I don't care. Two of Swords, I am not letting you in. Seven of Cups and the Sun card, I know you. I know you, and I know that you lie. I know you cause confusion. I know you cause chaos. I know that you will destroy and, and destroy like a tornado. I'm actually seeing a tornado. Like, you understand? And with the King of Swords here, show someone's like, I know. And you ain't coming nowhere near me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Someone here has their guard up, Virgo. So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy, Leo, Energy, someone here has their guard up and they're like, I, I, people like you don't change. I know exactly who you are and I promise you, you have not changed. Yeah, see, look, we've got the Four of Cups. Once again, we've got the Six of Cups. We've got the Knight of Cups. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. Someone here is going towards an X saying, please, let's work it out. Let's do all of these things. And someone's like, I don't believe anything you're saying. <laughs> like someone here's like sure you know someone someone doesn't believe anything the other person saying like nothing and i feel here that this is happening secretly because someone's in a relationship 
I feel like someone's in a relationship and they're sneaking around secretly because they want someone that they can't have, okay? They want someone they can't have and all the while they're sitting there like, no, I'm happy, look at me, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing good, I'm, I'm, my wishes are fulfilled, I'm fulfilling their wishes, we're just all full of love and wish fulfillment and sunshine and rainbows and unicorns and then behind the scenes, behind this empress's back, Somebody is running off towards somebody that they truly want and desire, okay? Um, and trying to get this person to convince them of, hey, you know, I've changed. Get back with me. Tell me about the Seven of Cups here for Virgo. Yeah, we've got the, the three, three of Swords popped out. Someone here is like, no, I know you're nothing but a heartbreaker. Tell me about the Sun card here and the Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about the King of Swords and the five of pentacles someone here is literally like i know you're a cheater i know you're a liar i know you cause a lot of pain and i know exactly what this big beautiful shiny offer that you're coming to me with i know that it's you know what i'm saying well what's that uh saying about you know gold plated you know what I'm saying? There's nothing under it. It looks shiny, it looks pretty, but there's nothing but hot air in it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Five of Pentacles and the and the King of Swords. Someone here is like, don't, don't even no. <laughs> no. Don't knock at my door. Don't, 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 don't look this way. Don't even look at me. <laughs> you know? Someone's like, nope. People like you don't change. That's what I keep hearing. Okay? Alright, guys, I love you and take care. Bye, my loves.